welcome back to Digger Down Metal Detecting. Um, I'm back out. I'm actually on my own permission this week. I'm not on a group dig, so uh, yeah, looking forward to being back on here. I'm on the Roman field, um, and I think I'm gonna, I think we're gonna head along this edge here um, and, make, and work my way around, and maybe go. I haven't. I'll take the Manticore to some of the areas that I haven't sort of been, um, and some of the areas that weren't as as good with the, you know, with the legend and the simplex in in previous. Uh, hunts um, and, and we'll see if the, the manticore can pluck out anything you know in those areas that'd be nice nice little test for it I guess um, I'll be on my my normal settings which I, I kind of use if you want if you want my full settings by the way guys um, head on over to the Facebook group digger down metal detecting um, and in the featured section at the top you'll be able to see a full there's a post there with all the photos of every screen for each of my settings uh, which is easier to do for the manacle because there's so many different tonal settings um, so it's easier to do it in photo form um, and then you guys can work your way through each one and set it up and, and obviously you'll have to adjust certain bits recovery uh, sensitivity to your own liking <laughs> um, but yeah no really looking forward to this today guys um, let's get out there let's go get on that first hole <laughs> Right, this is the first first signal of 2024 on my uh, own permission. Um, bit of a tricky one here. I didn't want to pick it up. I don't know if you can. I don't know well you can hear it. Let's. So it's, it's very iffy, bit jumpy, but in there is a tone, there's a amount of iron around it. You can hear it's very jumpy and not wanting to lock onto it, but it's just there. Very blurred on the screen as you can see all the iron around it. 26. So yeah, first, let me just mute that. Uh, first signal on the Manticore of 2024. It's clearer now. It's a nice, nice little signal that for us out. I actually, I only walked a couple of steps before I got that signal. So yeah, kind of quite a fast one. I was about to turn my camera on and, and do some walking with you, but um, yeah, I had a signal straight away. So thought we'd try this one. And what have we got there? I don't know if you can see that. That looks... What does it look like? <laughs> wow, okay. I know what that is. That's actually a part. And it's got silvering on it as well. It's actually a part. That would have been a loop. Full loop. And that would have had two sp spikes here, I think. It's actually part of a strap end. A little buckle strap. Um... That's incredible. So that's going to be medieval. It's got some silver gilding on there, if you can see that. Uh, not the best camera. There's a bit more on this side, actually. I'll just get. I'll get some photos of it. I won't switch it to the other camera on that one. It's a bit broken up, but you can see. You can see what it is. But I'll, I'll chuck some photos up now over the screen so you can see what I'm looking at. But yeah, what a cool find. That is first signal. I literally walked two steps. Absolutely brilliant. Bit of a perfect, bit too perfect really. 20, 23, 24. Right on the edge of the field here. Like in the actual verge of the field. That's way, seems way too good to be true, if you know what I mean. It's a very clear. I mean, it could be. Could be something good here. Right numbers. Us in this little clod here, is it? Let's have a look. What we got? It's going to be a piece of lead or something, I reckon. I've got a feeling it's just here, whatever it is. Uh, for a second there, <laughs> for a very small second there, I thought we had a fibula. 
<laughs> if you can see what I'm seeing, that looks like the top of a fibula brooch. Just let me have a little look. I'll tell you what it is. It looks like the front bumper, or rear, yeah, I'd say front bumper, of a, a Land Rover. <laughs> it's a piece of a toy car. Lovely. Really hoping this isn't going to be the setting for today because it's drizzling like really thick drizzle. I don't know if you can really make it out, but yeah, I'm going to get wet quite quick in this. As always, guys, I've got my eyes on the uh, pieces of pottery that came from there, just there. Look, where it was sat. I think it was, I think it was that way up. So, no, that way. The other way. It was just sat in there. Look, just like that. <laughs> Yeah, little pieces of pottery, sort of finding a few little bits in this area. But yeah, that's a beautiful little rim of a Roman greyware pot. Absolutely beautiful. 31, 32. Quite a big signal, this one. I've had a lot of signals. <laughs> Lots of lead. All sorts, really. Odd button. I just like to do a random live every now and again as well, just to, just for good measure. <laughs> they don't always turn out well, but you never know. Could just be another piece of lead to add to the scrap pot, I think. Yeah, just another bit of lead. I'm in that corner again where I found those one pound coins. A bit of an iffy one, but they generally were. Now that could be another one to add to the, the one pound coin hoard. <laughs> I'm hoping so. Sometimes I wonder how I miss these big signals. You think I've... So really sort of covered this area. Seems quite deep, probably was. Probably why it was iffy. I might go in with a pinpointer, I think, and have a have a little look. Uh, is it that little clump there? Little cloddy clod. Um. Um, okay, not what I was expecting, but, oh my god, what is that? Okay, well it's a brooch, <laughs> okay, I was not expecting that. Let me get you on the other camera, because that was very unexpected, very iffy signal. Okay, so there we go guys, that's where I put it. Just next to it as well, I just found this. So I thought it was a bit greyware that way up, but actually the other side, I think it was a bit of green glazed pottery. Um, but yeah, this, look at this. That was, it's, it's the Tudor Rose, isn't it? Let me just turn so we're in the, in a better light here. That is like a Tudor Rose, isn't it? Now I don't know if that's, oh, there is actually some writing on the back there. Incredible. <laughs> um, I think the best bet is for me to give it a quick clean up with a brush and a bit of water and we'll have a closer look at that. So there we go guys, we just had a little bit of a clean up and what a beautiful little badge. That is very cool. That is a Tudor Rose because I've just had a look on the back as well at this writing. And we've got Tudor Rose League, British made. Walwich, 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 I can't, I can't read that bottom bit. Walwich, Badgers, Walwich Badgers, B Ham. So I've had a little look at this and this is a, um, I think it's like a membership badge. It was to do with the British trading and um, a better, something to do with a better relationship between traders and consumers um, and you'd wear this badge but I, I found the in information on it completely and I'll, uh, I'll put that up now over this um, so you can have a little read you can always pause it and just have a little read through that it's not very long um, but yeah what a cool little bit of a uh, bit of a find and a bit of history there it's the 1920s I think it was founded in 1926 the Rose League um, to the Rose League 
So yeah, that is absolutely awesome. Really, really pleased with that. What a cool little find. Not the pound coin I was looking for. <laughs> just had a little visit from my uh, good mate Kevin, uh, one of the moderators from my Facebook group. Um, he comes past this area quite often, he's uh, spotted my van and come and said hello. I was, sorry I didn't get you in the video mate, but hello. <laughs> but anyway, I've just had an, a, a little 26, I knew I should have filmed this one, I should have filmed it. Um, but I think, let's have a look, I think, if I can remember where I put it, I think we got a little Roman coin possibly. I knew it sounded good, it was almost one of those, you know, too good to be true signals. That definitely looks like a little Roman coin. Got very dull low light today, so struggling a little bit. And I'm not really sure why my camera just died there, but uh, it did. <laughs> Either way, we'll uh, we'll carry on regardless. Let's try and give us a little spray up. Just see what we got. I'm not sure if there's going to be any detail on this one, but doesn't look like there's a lot on it. Um, just dry my hands. Yeah, not looking uh, too overly detailed that one, so yeah, nothing on there really, I don't think. Nothing too obvious. There is some markings, but yeah, definitely a little Roman coin, so please with that, we're on to the Roman. Absolutely brilliant. Right guys, I've just been flitting along the edge of the field, really, in and out, and I've, uh, I'm, I'm sort of right up against the hedge, I'm actually really in the edge of the field, and I'm, I think I'm going to be really glad that I just did, I've already, already seen this, 36, I've already actually picked it up and looked, and uh, it's still in the coin ball though, to be fair, and it is a coin, and it looks silver, just put it back. In the, this is where it came from, sort of the bottom of this hole, so you're talking a good six or seven inches down this, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be a hammered coin. I don't know who yet, like I say I have picked this up and I saw the I saw the little edge and just scraped the soil away, but I thought I'd uh, turn the, just turn the camera on so you guys can, can see me do it. I think I'll spray this, it looks quite detailed. Okay, so we've got a, looking like a shield, that's a Tudor, Tudor shield, so it's going to be a, probably Elizabeth I, I guess, although that looks slightly different. Oh, we've got Can, Canterbury Mint, well, whoever it is, it's Canterbury, no, I haven't seen that before, it's a W and, a, and an A beside the shield there as well, look at the detail on that, oh, this is brilliant, I don't think... What on earth is that? What on earth is that? Oh my god. I think that's a Henry VIII. <laughs> I am definitely pleased. I've been going... Sorry about that guys. I don't know why my phone keeps stopping the recordings. I don't know if there's something on the screen touching the button maybe. It could be absolutely nothing, but I don't know. <laughs> Either way, it keeps stopping, but look at this. Look at this. And this is a major bucket lister. I've not had a, a I'm, I'm guessing that's a Henry, that could be a Henry the Seventh. But either way, I've not had one with the bus uh, sort of facing right or left either, you know. Yes, yeah, so I've definitely not had one like that. That is awesome. What a find. I cannot believe that. That's in the. That is literally. I'm. I'm off the field. The field's over here where my machine is sitting. I'm off the field. Nearly. I don't really want to put the camera, but I'm nearly under the hedge here. Look. What a find. <laughs> Can. Yeah, that's definitely Canterbury Mint. Cantor. C A N T O R. There. Absolutely amazing. Honestly, that is incredible. What a find! Is that one, two, three, Henry. 
Oh, there you go. So it is. It says there, look, you can see Henrik's, Henrik's, Henrik's <laughs> V, uh, yeah, V111 there, look. So that is Henry VIII. Henry VIII. Something, I can't read the rest of it. 2D6. Is that numbers? Are they numbers? I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, okay, I've never, yeah, I've never had a, I've never had a hammer like this. That is amazing. Absolutely incredible. Just sort of see his bust isn't great there, but his crown is, is brilliant. A bit of a crack in that side as well. But wow, what a coin! What an incredible coin! Can room in Henry the Eighth bust facing right. I'm going to have to look that up. I'm not sure what the coin will be, but wow. Absolutely incredible. Look, you've got a little mint mark there as well. Another thing to sort of look up. I'm not sure what that's, what it is. A little quatrefoily type thing. Yeah, what an amazing coin. <laughs> I'm babbling on now. That is incredible. That is incredible. Well, I definitely think I'm going to keep hugging this side anyway. I seem to be having some luck. So I've had, I've had a bit of a, tw a 20 here and along the edges, like, like this close, you're always expecting trash, aren't you? It's like that um, hammered coin there, that Henry VIII. I'm thinking it's going to be shotty end or something like that. But this this looks like a either a very small or a piece of a Roman coin. And it's got something on there, some detail, but not sure what it is. It looks like a little... Almost like a little noose. <laughs> yeah, no idea. A little hangman. <laughs> um, but yeah, no idea. That's that's a strange one. But yeah, definitely a Roman coin of sorts. But yeah, amazing. I'm going to carry on along this edge, I think. <laughs> Missed it. I'm a pinpoint the stick in the uh, stick in the little pouch on the side of your bag this time of year. You start getting lots of mud. See what I'm talking about? Edge of the field. Shotty end. Yeah, you start getting lots of bits of mud in your in your bag and things start to stick. Always fill in your holes. I'll see you in a bit. I'll see you over here. <laughs> Solid 20. Out in one scoop. Yeah, nice little 20 there. Let's just move you a bit closer, guys. So just scuttling along the edge of the field here. Little four hole button. Yeah. Yeah, four holes in it anyway hate these things. <laughs> you know I love buttons, but four whole buttons, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this one right on the surface, it's bang in the middle of the screen, I don't know if you can see it. Just there, green, right on the surface, look. Solid 27. And we know what it is. <laughs> 
I think yeah, I haven't even bent down to have a look yet, but I could see what it was. A uh, little Roman coin look, sitting on the surface there, sunbathing. Little imprint there where it was sat. What have we got? We've got some detail. This is the, this is the question. Uh, that's an odd looking one. It's a bit of an odd one. That's because it's a radiate, and I'm going to say, looking at the state of it, it's a barbarous radiate, so it's a, it's a contemporary sort of forgery. Um, the radiates, they used to do that a lot, I, th I believe. Yeah, and the ones, when you usually get them like this, and they're not in the greatest of condition, uh, pretty well rotted away. Um, usually, yeah, because that's one of the barbarous types. But yeah. What an amazing little thing, just sat on the surface like I say, where was the, if I can see where the little imprint was, I've lost it now, it was there somewhere, <laughs> but yeah, right on the surface, I think that's the third Roman today, just see his bust facing right there, look, but yeah, very nice, we're having a cracking day already, I'll do this one live, doesn't sound very deep. 27, 28. Uh, sounds quite shallow. Can't see anything obvious on the surface. But it's definitely not far under. I'll try and get this uh, dirt off my pinpointer. I think it's that there. And it looks like it's actually possibly a little pistol shot. Um maybe just a sort of round piece of lead but yeah it could be a pistol shot that or a rabbit net weight maybe yeah piece of lead I'm, I'm not sure I'm even gonna call that actually a pistol shot it's a bit too crude looking could be but I think it's gonna be just scrap lead that one pretty solid 2021 there. It was. <laughs> I've moved it, I think, whatever it was. Still in the hole a bit, I think. But I've definitely moved it. Hiding, whatever it is. Oh, moved it again. Oh, what we got there? I think. <laughs> I think I've been caught out by a pesky button. I think that's what it is. Yeah. I think it fell back in the hole as well, which is why it was being a bit of a pain. But yeah, yeah, a little button. Missing the shank. Can't win them all. Okay, so this is a little bit of an odd one. I'm in a I'm in a bit of an area that I don't usually uh, sort of hunt. Like I said, I'm sort of searching areas that I wouldn't or I haven't been over much. Um, probably the more trashier areas of the field, and just seeing what the man in Manticore can pull out. And uh, very nicely pulled out this little Roman coin. Um, yeah, not expecting that over here at all. I've not actually been a, is, 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 <laughs> spit it out. This is the Roman field, but um, yeah, I've never had Roman over this side of the field. So, it's oddly, <laughs> I know. Um, yeah, yeah, seems to be, it, the, the Roman stuff kind of has a point in this field where it kind of stops, uh, which is very odd. But then you don't know the layout of the land before, do you? So. Um, but yeah, so it's nice, very nice, to find a little Roman coin over this side, that's for sure. Uh, no detail on it, but yeah, still a Roman coin. So that's, I think, is that four today? Four Roman coins? And this one being an un unexpected over this half of the field. So nice, very nice. Well, things just wouldn't be the same without a bit of button porn now, would they? Look at that. Little beauty. Shame there's no... 
shank on the back. I don't think it's one of those kind of hollow fronted uh, buttons. But yeah, look at the little pattern on there. Kind of like a square within a circle there with the corners missing. And then a little ring in the middle with some detail. Quite an intricate little design. Lovely. We love a bit of button porn. Don't think I even need to uh, unmute the headphones or the machine for this one. Let's blew my ears off. You must be able to hear that. 78, 76. Kind of where the coins sit. But could be alley, I guess. It's quite loud, punchy. It's out, and I can't see any shiny aluminiums yet. <laughs> so, um, let's have a look, it's got to be a coin, come on. Have I found myself a milled coin for today? There's something there. No. That, no way. No way is that that signal. A little buckle, look. A very dainty little, <laughs> little buckle. Giving off a 78, that's massive. That was a massive, like blowing your ears off signal. Obviously sat, oh, obviously sat very flat and I don't think it, I think I slightly missed it. I don't think it was very deep actually. Uh, but yeah, what on earth? That's, uh, that's a huge signal for a little buckle. Uh, quite a crude looking little buckle, so I probably won't, I might just put some pictures up after this one. For, but, um, yeah, wasn't expecting that. Again, this was quite a big signal. I probably should have filmed it, but I didn't. Um, it wasn't very deep. It was only in this hole, just in the bottom. Probably, I'm not going to say two inches inches deep and it's this here and I've just give it a little clean up um, but it's I, I'm pretty sure it's a big a very big watch winder uh, the, the little nib or the open end is a little squashed there and it's probably missing the little loop that would have been on here or that might have been attached there a bit of a loop possibly not sure but upon looking at it I just gave it a clean up I thought it was just a you know just a circle but actually it's not it's actually a snake how cool is that? <laughs> so it's kind of like a snake eating itself. Um, does that? I, I'm guessing that kind of means something. Um, it's kind of like an infinite thing, isn't it? So it's it's, it's going to eat itself. I don't know. So I'm, I'm guessing it's still classed as sort of zoomorphic. But you can see his head. There's a little eye there. Look, and you can you can see the the snake pattern that would have been there. You know. That, that's amazing. I had no idea. I just kind of just cleaned it up and I thought, what's that lump on there? And had a bit more of a clean and a, a closer look. And yeah, it's a little snake. Snake watch winder, that's a first. Absolutely incredible. So pleased with that. I love watch winders as well. They're such a cool little thing, but yeah, it's a little snake. That's, that is awesome. Oh, I love this hobby. Oh, you've got to love this hobby. You just never know, do you? You never know what you're going to pull up next. And there you go. There you have it. Snake watch winder. This next one was a coin. Um, it was actually in the sort of 70s, but it was not a coin signal. Now, I don't know whether there was iron in the hole there, maybe. I will, I will recheck it, but yeah, definitely not a coin signal, which is why I didn't film it, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, it's totally blank as well. Green disc. <laughs> Lovely. This is coming in at about 25. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but that looks very much like a fibula brooch to me. Could be totally wrong there, but it's, it's very sharp at one end, strangely. But 
Is it just a different type of fibula? You know what? I don't. I don't know. It's it's fibula shaped, isn't it? Um. Try and try and turn me back on the wind for you guys. Sorry. Um. Yeah. I don't know. I I I honestly don't know. <laughs> Let me just tilt you down. I'm trying to trying to get you straightened up here a bit. That's a. That's a weird one. That is a fibula, isn't it? It's got to be. It's got to be. Sorry, guys. There's a bit of a, a bit of a casting line here. It looks like it's been. I don't know. It's very sharp, pointed, but it's got the, it's got the catch plate here. What's left of it? Unless it's just snapped off and it's left it sharp. I don't know, guys. Let me know if you if you have any ideas. But I I'm gonna say. It's got to be a fibula brooch, or a type of fibula brooch. Yeah, very odd. Unless it's just broken up, and that's why it looks odd. But have we got a Roman fibula <laughs> today as well? That is, it's look at it. It's got to be. It's got to be. I found a lot of fibula brooches uh, so far, and uh, yeah, this looks a bit different. So I'm not. Not entirely sure, but that's definitely a different kind of fibula brooch if it is. I've not had this style before. Very small head to it. Just a very dainty looking. But that's a fibula brooch all day long. And like I say, I'm still in areas where I don't usually go very much. So finding Roman over here is great. Um, and a fibula brooch to top it. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully that is what it is. And... Uh, yeah, we can call it that. I'm sure that is. I'm sure it's a fibula. But yeah, that is awesome. Absolutely awesome. Well, I'm heading there. <laughs> That's where I'm going. Right there. <laughs> you. Look at that. I'll just let you have a little listen to this one. Listen to all the iron. There's iron there. Literally surrounded in iron. Now I had this this signal I, I just I could just hear the little signal in there and it, it was just blipping up a 30 but now I've got it out let me come around a bit now I've dug the hole 33 34 I'll move a spade quite far away because I am um, <laughs> I was uh, catching it with the detector now I think I think I'm hoping <laughs> I'm really open now I'm hoping it's a Roman coin I think it is it's a really thick one if it is. I'm not 100% sure actually, looking at it now. <laughs> um, unless it was unless it was a coin weight actually, but whatever it is, it was in there amongst that iron and hiding. But the man of course sniffed it out. I'm not entirely sure now, you know, looking at it. It's quite a thick piece of metal that. I don't know if we can see anything on the camera on there. Looks fairly blank actually but I'm not seeing any detail which is odd. But quite a weird I don't think it's a Roman coin now looking at it. I'm thinking it was possibly a coin weight. Maybe the only sort of thing I've seen that's that that thick. I mean, most Roman coins aren't quite that thick. That's quite chunky, that. So, yeah, possible coin weight. I'm trying to just get it in the light and see if I can see any details, but I'm not seeing anything. Are you? <laughs> can you see anything? There may be something there. Don't know. Yeah, very odd. But yeah. Could have easily been a Roman coin, but yeah, definitely a 
Definitely a weight of some kind or a little gaming piece maybe. A little gaming token or something. Yeah, that's different. Right guys, that is going to be it for the day. Um, as you can see, it's gone right murky again. Drizzling, horrible. Um, it's been on and off like this all day. Um, I've got something in my eye now. <laughs> um, no, I've had a cracking day again. Really, really enjoyed myself. Um, fancy, fancy pulling a bit of a, a Tudor rose out of the ground and then pulling up the king of the king of Tudor, <laughs> um, the one and only Henry the Eighth. I mean, he's he's a he's a heck of a lad, wasn't he? Um, old copper nose. I'm surprised at the uh, condition of that coin. Actually, I thought that would have been a, a, a very weak silver. Usually, I thought his a lot of his were. Um, but yeah, what a cracking day, honestly. I, I've really enjoyed myself. Um, before we go into the roundup, don't forget, guys, you can use my code DiggerD10 um, at Dragon Detecting. Um, I'll put that code up here. Um, yeah, great guy, Jordan. Um, he'll look after you. Any, any all the accessories, you can get 10% off. Um, some of the older, I think, some of the older uh, machines. Uh, possibly pinpointers, all that sort of thing. You can get 10% off. But if you um, if you want a new machine, you, obviously you can't you can't get 10% off new machines anywhere. Um, but give give Jordan a call, and uh, you might get some some extras in there. I'll put his number up here as well. Give that number a call. Um, yeah, and you'll speak to Jordan. He'll sort you out with, with a nice little deal. Just mention Digger Dan. Um, but yeah, let's let's get into this. Let's get into this roundup. So there we go guys, look at that. What a what a what a day. An absolute smashing day. Um some really cool little finds there. Um plenty of bu plenty of buttons as always. a uh, bit of button porn hidden up the corner there. Sorry, let me let me do my little zoomy so you can get a bit closer and have a look at the detail on these. Uh yeah, a bit of button porn up the corner there and plenty of little artifacts and part artifacts. Got that little um strap in that I found first thing this morning it's got a bit of silver in on there as well um, very cool for a first find really pleased with that apart from the fact that it's broken obviously um, but that, that's the way it goes sometimes isn't it um, another little piece of buckle there um, what I think is a part of a clog clasp the end of a clog clasp um, the little buckle there that I thought was going to be a coin actually but it wasn't um, must have been sat very shallow and flat for it to be a signal like that 78 I think it was um, yeah massive signal for, for a little buckle um, lovely lovely little watch winder which is actually a snake eating itself which is amazing I'm, I'm over the moon with that that as a find is a day maker um, look at that you absolute beauty really love that that's the biggest watch winder i think i've ever seen it's more like a clock winder i think <clears throat> um and of course that lovely little tudor uh pin badge there which is very very cool um i did find out the information i'll put that again to the right here so you can have another look um but yeah tudor rose league um it was a little club or a little thing you could join i think something to do with uh purchasing british made um anything really i think uh but yeah absolutely amazing really cool look at the enamel on that red and white very british very british indeed in fact it was made made in great britain i think british made it says in the middle there look. so there you go um and of course that weird very strange fibula brooch i've never had this type before i'm pretty sure it is a fibula very sharp at the point um, but yeah, if anybody has any ideas of what type that is, I don't know. Let me know what you think. Um, it's very cool though. Yeah, like I say, that's a, that's a first as well. I've had a day of firsts today, I think. But yeah, never never had a Tudor Rose like that before. I don't think I'll ever find one again. It's not something you'll, you'll find many of, I don't think. That fibula brooch is very different. Snake, um, watch winder, pretty different, pretty cool. Um, yeah, I don't think you're going to find stuff like that ever again. That's got a, a once, the once in a lifetime. I know they're not gold and silver, but they're once in a lifetime stuff. Um, you know, this, like I say, that watch winder. That is very cool. I'm so impressed with that, as you can probably tell. Um, but yeah, what a cool little thing. 
Um, and of course, coins, uh, we've got four little Roman coins. I won't flip them about because there's nothing on the other sides. They were probably the best detailed sides. Um, pretty grotty ones always come up. They never never stop coming up off here. Sorry, I'm just going to adjust my legs because I'm hurting myself. <laughs> um, the strange little coin weight or or like I say possibly a Roman coin that hasn't been struck yet I don't know <laughs> just a guess um, I'm guessing coin weight though I'm gonna say it's a coin weight looking at the thickness of it but there's no detail on it whatsoever totally smooth um, another green coin there which has got no detail whatsoever so we don't even know who that is and of course last but not least that beautiful beautiful Henry VIII coin there uh, clearly says Henry Henrix um, Hen or Henricus I think V111 just on that corner there Henry VIII um, <laughs> yeah absolutely amazing so that's a bucket lister for me I've always wanted one of those types um, not sure on the, the uh, exact coin yet I will We'll let you know actually I'll put it up to the right if I found out if I'll put it up to the right of the screen now if I found out what it is but yeah what an amazing little coin Canterbury mint absolutely buzzing that is that's a that's made my year already that has <laughs> absolutely incredible what a beautiful coin oh, <laughs> buzzing again every time this this field without doubt is is the field of dreams there's there's no denying it this it really really it, it never stops producing I, it never fails to come up with roman coins on here no matter how many times I, I come across this field it it never fails um and yeah to be plucking stuff like that out it's just incredible um but yeah thank you very much as always guys um what an amazing start to 2024 we're having already um, I hope the rest of the years is, uh, carries on this way. <laughs> but yeah, thank you very much, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.